Everything is looking good for the Overkill NAS. I love how clean these power cables are, just stacked back to back. All the power cords are connected, all the SATA cables are connected. In setting up my NAS, I've downloaded TrueNAS onto the thumb drive for my Overkill NAS, which has six 12 terabyte Western Digital Red Pro drives, a Threadripper 3970X, that's 32 cores, 64 threads, and 256 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. We also have the RTX 5070, yep, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070 in the NAS. I'll get into that in a later video. And this is in the Fractal Define 7. This is the XL and I absolutely love it because you can stack hard drives just like this. On boot up, this is what we see. We want to install true NAS scale and we're gonna go with the top one. The NAS is up and running and we have the operating system ready to be installed. This screen here is very, very important because you can have say one or two or three drives maybe NVMe drives or SATA SSD drives as your main operating system. So you can have some redundancy there and then the rest of them can be your storage pool. So that's like the big multi terabyte area, right? So I'm gonna use these two drives, Samsung SSDs 990s, they're NVMe drives, PCI Gen 4.0, very, very fast, obviously. And they're they gonna be mirrored to run the operating system for redundancy. All right, so I have those selected, and then that leaves these six 12 terabyte drives available, the Western Digital Red Pros, for storage later on. So the rest of the installation is basically just clicking yes, go ahead and delete everything and let's move on. It formatted the two NVMe drives and now it's wiping the hard drives, the Western Digital Red Pro 12 terabytes, and I do have my username and password all set up. This is the admin. When you log into TrueNAS on the web client, then you're gonna be able to create user accounts as well. After it installs, you'll get your local IP address for the NAS. You'll type that in your web browser, log in using your admin username and password that you set up. I suggest going to system and updating your region, your clock and like where you are in the world. And also just checking out your dashboard right here. So you'll see information like your CPU. This is a Threadripper 3970X, 32 cores, how much memory you have, 256 gigabytes. And of course, storage, you have to create a pool. But first you might want to select credentials and set up a user as well. So just go ahead and add a user. And for me, it's gonna be Depoets, username and password. Everything here should be perfectly fine. Just hit save and boom, there I am. Next, I want to go to storage and create a pool. Here, I'm gonna name it Depoets NAS and we're gonna hit next. And here we're gonna basically select our VDEV. So this is going to give me an option for the type of RAID I want. I like RAID Z2, especially since I'm using six 12 terabyte hard drives. So we're gonna go ahead and use RAID Z2 for my setup. So there's different options. Make sure you use the right option for yours. It just takes a little bit of research. I like this because I can lose up to two hard drives and not lose any data. And we're gonna see the 10.91 terabytes, basically my 12 terabyte drives. The width are how many drives? We're gonna use all six of them, baby. And just one VDEV, meaning it's gonna seem as just one drive altogether. Hit next. You're gonna see the total capacity is gonna be 44 terabytes, roughly. RAID Z2, see data one, RAID Z2, six 12 terabyte hard drives. And I am very much excited. We're just gonna click next, 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 and all this stuff, because we don't need that for this type of setup and create pool, bam, confirm, continue, creating pool, very exciting times. It then pops us into our storage dashboard so we can see 43 terabytes usable, used four megs, right, nothing. And so if we go into our dashboard, then we're actually gonna see the storage pool right here. So 0% used, disk with errors, zero of six, very, very good. So we are ready to rock. And so the Overkill NAS is up and running. The last step really is just to do an SMB share. So it's telling other like Windows PCs on the network, hey, the NAS is right here. And so I'll do another video for that in a little while.